Good morning everyone, I'm coming to you from the bathroom again because the lighting is always great in here. It is quarter past nine. Um, I've actually had a wonderful morning and I was enjoying it so much that I didn't even pick up the camera. I think I'm gonna do an updated get healthy with me because I really enjoyed making the last one because I've kind of planned out my mornings to just feel better because I'm just really focusing on trying to combat my mental health and feeling better and I've talked about it a lot but I'm going to keep talking about it um, because it's been difficult and I got out a lot of good habits and I'm just trying to do things that are good for me and things that make me feel happy and things that make me feel you know balanced and calm and this morning I woke up early which I really enjoy because I'm a morning person and I kind of forgot that I was a morning person and was just kind of sleeping in and feeling crap and um, I meditated, I used the Calm app, which I've actually never used before. Uh, I usually, I used to use the Headspace app, but I really actually preferred the Calm app. Uh, the Headspace app, because it was the same guy every time. Um, I don't know, I got a bit bored. Maybe I'll get bored of the Calm app too, but I really enjoyed it. It was very relaxing. And then I went on a nice long walk with Roxy um, when the sun was rising, which was lovely and um, I listened to my new book that I've been really enjoying called Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty and honestly once I finish that book I'm gonna have to start it all again because it has so much in there that is so helpful and useful and it's really making me think about everything in my life and think about how I approach things so I highly recommend it I highly recommend you download it as well to listen to um, on Audible because it's kind of nice and relaxing to listen to somebody give you that information um, but yeah, I really need to go back and re-listen to all of it. But I listened to that for a bit and then, because it's a lot of information, I kind of halfway through the walk was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to some classical music now because it was just such a beautiful morning. And came back and then I also started a new workout routine. Um, I was about to just do my normal workout that I do generally because I've started to try and work out again recently. But I follow Chrissy Chella on um, Instagram and I really like her, I really like her. Um, approach to things, how positive she is, how inclusive she is and I always hear her talking about her Tone and Sculpt app but I've never thought to even download it um, but I thought you know what I'm just going to download it because there's a free trial and I loved it because it takes you through everything so she has like she says out loud the sets and um, the exercise. There's a video on screen of what it is that you're doing. It gives you the amount of time, how much time you need to do it. And then it sets aside the rest time. Made me realize that I certainly do not take enough rest when I usually exercise because it was, I felt like I was just chilling out sitting there. But I really enjoyed it. It was about 45 minutes or so. And I had The Bachelorette on because there's a new season of The Bachelorette. And that's one of my tips that I've mentioned before is, um, watching something you enjoy or listening to something you enjoy while exercising so you get some kind of reward which helps to motivate you but I just really enjoyed it and um, I thought it was wonderful so I'm excited to give the other exercises a go it's just it's like having a personal trainer they just tell you what to do you don't have to think about it you don't have to time yourself or question anything it's just all written out for you so I thought that was wonderful and now I'm gonna jump in the shower um, and get started with my day. It's 20 past nine, uh, which little voice in my head is saying, oh, that's far too late to be starting your day. But I've done so much this morning and um, I need to start focusing on the positives and the things I am achieving and stop beating myself up that I'm not perfect because it's Monday and I've already um, done lots of things for me to make me feel good on a Monday and work comes second. I come first, work comes second and hopefully this will make me feel calm for the rest of the day so yeah that was four minutes of blabbing but you know what <laughs> I'm a blabber and I'm going to jump in the shower and um I wanted to show you some bits that I bought recently uh before all the shops shut for lockdown sorry Roxy's barking that's probably the postman um <laughs> before lockdown uh we went on a little shopping trip with my sister and my brother-in-law and we went to lots of charity shops and I also picked up some bits from Finisterre recently that I wear every day, so I thought I would show them to you later and um, just, yeah, have a nice chilled out day. It is lockdown again in the UK. How's everybody doing? This lockdown for me has been, so far, very different to the last lockdown. I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling a sense of like anxiety about it because it's kind of weird, the sense that you can't 
do what you want to do but I'm I'm feeling like this is a time for me to take care of myself and you know utilize that opportunity and feel grateful for it rather than getting myself down again like I was before but I hope you're all doing okay and um, if any of you are going through a hard time because of being in lockdown you know my heart goes out to you because I know this is an extremely difficult time for everybody and um, you know we're nearly there put on some Christmas music that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna listen to some Christmas music in the shower because that will keep me going and make me feel happy but yeah five minutes on I'm gonna get in the shower now <laughs> I've just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you something I've been doing recently for my hair I do have a whole video on my hair care routine which hasn't really changed apart from this step so I saw I've seen a lot of people use a Denman brush for their hair and I tried it once a while ago because I bought this brush and I was like oh my god that's so time consuming who has time to do that and then I was getting frustrated that the underneath of my hair especially, the, it was like some bits were wavy, some bits were straight, some bits were curly. I always have this one ringlet under here and then the rest of the underneath is straight. And a lot of people on Instagram, because I shared a photo, suggested the denim, br denim, denim brush blah, 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 um, to help this. So it's as simple as sectioning your hair and kind of like, in a re it's really strange, but using a brush to style your hair when it's wet so you take like a piece like this, you kind of use the brush, curl it around like so, give it a little shake. And the idea is that it creates a clump and then you scrunch it. I've put some um, Bounce Curl Define Cream and then the Bounce Curl um, Gel, which I don't know where it is, but it's the one that I use in my video. And as you can see, it creates you know like a clump which of a wave rather than scrunching your hair all the way around and your hair kind of deciding for itself um so i do that now and it, it does make a difference it makes your hair look more neat and more done when i leave my hair to do its own thing it looks a little bit messier which sometimes i kind of like but i'm just enjoying doing this in a minute um this just looks a bit more, I don't know, a bit more like I've done my hair. <laughs> that makes any sense. So I'm going to do that on all my hair. It does take a bit extra time, but I find it just means I don't have to worry so much about my hair when it's drying. The next thing I want to do is get a diffuser, a hair dryer, because, um, for example, today is Monday. And because I wash my hair every five days, sometimes it lands on a Monday and ain't nobody got time to sit around with soaking wet hair, especially when I'm trying to film a video. My hair was gonna take, you know, however long, a few hours to dry, and I'm just sitting around carefully sort of placing my head <laughs> so that I don't ruin the waves. And um, what lots of people do is they partly dry their hair with a diffuser just so that they get rid of all of the extra moisture and therefore it's not very damaging to your hair. It's not like you're um, blow drying your hair from you know soaking wet to straight or anything so anyway yeah I'm gonna do this now I've done it it's very difficult to see but maybe you can see that it goes into what I think the curly girl community calls clumps so um, there's less frizz so my hair has gone into clumps I often get frizz here because I part my hair on the side um, but it means that all the hairs are kind of contained into clumps of curls so as it dries they sort of you know don't go frizzy and then you can fluff it out Afterwards, next I'm going to plop my hair. This has turned into a little bit of a tutorial. So I'm going to put it up in this um, microfiber towel and let it sort of sit for like 10 15 minutes to help it dry and help the curls kind of do their thing. And then, yeah. 
So there's my glamorous towel. I literally just, by plopping and it's the worst, I don't know what it is about hair names, like no poo and plopping. Why is it all so gross? I literally place your hair very carefully on the towel and very carefully wrap it around. You don't like scrunch it all up, but yeah. Um, if you wanna know my full hair tutorial, I'll leave it linked up here because this is not what this video is about. But I'm gonna get dressed now. And um, in a little bit when my hair's dry, I'll show you some of the bits that I bought. I'm all dressed now and I'll show you this when my hair's dry because I feel like, do you ever have that where you, if you're not like fully made up, clothes just don't look right? So I'll show you this outfit when I'm dry and um, where I got it from. But um, I wanted to show you my perfume. I picked up these two scents from Floral Street. They're a UK brand, cruelty free, vegan, natural, and I've got the flavours, flavours, scents, Wonderland, Peony and Arizona Bloom. I got this one in the big size because this is the one I had before and it's my favourite. But let me know if you have any other perfume recommendations, like vegan ones. I also love Eden perfumes. Um, when I lived in Brighton, I used to get that. But um, I also love these. I really want a, a wintery scent though. This is very... I don't know, I guess it's floral and it's kind of citrusy and light. This one is more like summery, coconutty, that kind of thing. So I would love like a more musky kind of darker one, but I've, I've struggled ever since going vegan to find vegan perfumes apart from this brand and Eden perfumes. If you know any, let me know. So I'm just chilling by the fire and Alex and I are about to have a meeting, chat about all the content and stuff we've got to do this week and the following weeks coming. I have picked the winners for the giveaway and I have contacted all of them because I know lots of you have been asking for an update. So congrats to those of you who've won. If you're watching this video, leave a comment down below. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry if you didn't win. There was 20,000 comments on Instagram and like 7,000 on YouTube. So there were a lot of people who entered and it took me a while to figure out a way to fairly select everybody. I kind of shot myself in the foot a little bit by having so many different prizes as well as comments on YouTube and comments on Instagram that I needed to like match and make sure people did both. But I figured a way out. Um, I used like a website to randomly pick somebody. And yeah, I'm really excited that all these people are gonna be receiving. Like someone just literally just replied and said, oh my God, I'm so happy. Yes to all those things now. Thank you, thank you. They're so excited. So yeah, it makes me very happy to see everyone really excited and yeah, to receive all their prizes. Thank you again, if you did enter, um, I'm gonna be doing plenty more giveaways in the future because this one was so successful and so many of you wanted to win and enter. So maybe I'll do some giveaways in the future. So yeah. <laughs> Just finished these. These are the Wicked Kitchen spicy coconut and rice noodles. Alex bought these, didn't you? Yeah. They were so good. How are yours? Which one did you have? I haven't had it yet. Oh. I'm getting it's due. Well, uh, the only thing is that I didn't stir it well enough. So when I got to the bottom, I realized there was loads of dry bits at the bottom. Yeah, rookie. And I had to put a bit more water in there, but that's just, I don't have these things very often, but that was so good. And what an easy, quick lunch. Let me read the instructions. Yeah, I did do the instructions. Did you stir halfway through? Yes. Did you stir all the way to the bottom? I struggled to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good, easy, quick lunch. Like today, we just kind of ran over with our meeting a bit. So it was a nice one to just have. Um, I might have some hummus and stuff as well in a second. It's so hot in here. We just put loads of wood on the fire and I do that so much where I put it on there. I'm like, it's not hot in here yet. And then I shove loads on, then it gets unbearably hot. I need to learn how to like get the key temperature. <laughs> I'm back and I'm gonna show you the clothes that I got. Is this a good position to be in? Just fluffing up my hair. This is what my hair looks like with the um, Demon brush. Do you see the difference? Maybe I'll insert a picture here of my hair when I don't use it. It makes it a lot more defined and there's just like not any frizz. So it's all very like, all the waves are very like, I don't know. It's kind of nice. It looks like I've styled my hair with a curling tong to give it waves rather than my hair being beachy. Both looks I like. Um, it's also, it makes it look very shiny. I think it's because it really distributes the product and because there's very little frizz. 
Yeah, so if you have a problem with frizz, with um, curly wavy hair, give the Denim brush a go. Highly recommend. Um, the only thing I don't like is it is very like neat and defined and like, yeah. I maybe I'm more of a kind of messy hair person. So first day hair like this, it looks great, but I do actually prefer it on the next day. But anyway, we're here to show you my clothes. So I will show you what I'm wearing now because this was the first thing that I got. So I got this turtleneck. This was from a charity shop. This is lovely olive green color, really nice and comfy. And then the thing that I've worn the most since buying these things are these dungarees. Now, you know that I love dungarees. I've got lots of Lucy and Yak ones. And I recently got some from Finisterre, which I might show you as well. But <clears throat> these were from a vintage shop in Truro. Can't remember the name of it, but if you do know Truro, it's the one that when you're walking up the high street opposite TK Maxx and kind of near Lush, there's like a um, an alleyway that you can go down and there's the vintage shops down now. I'll try and figure out the name of it and put it on screen, but if I don't know the name of it, it's there down that alleyway. Um, and I know that we can't go shopping right now, so that's kind of useless, but if we can go back to the shops in December, go check it out because it is a gold mine of stuff. It's incredible. So I've got these dungarees. They had them in loads of colors um, because I think they picked up just loads of different vintage dungarees. And how far can I go back? And they're just a beautiful burgundy color, very easy little, thingy here and I am in love with them and they're like a corduroy yeah so it's like a nice corduroy which I think looks nice with this because it's ribbed so they're both kind of ribbed very very Christmassy another thing that I got was this cardigan my sister didn't like this she was unsure I got this one from the children's hospice but I thought this was very similar to some things that I had seen on like Finisterre um, because it just looked very like, I don't know, sporty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this over my, I've already got like three layers. <laughs> but um, it's just like a nice cardigan, but it has a zip. I would not wear it with this outfit. So please ignore that. I would wear it with a t-shirt. Um, but it's got a zip and it's just, I just think it's kind of cute. Maybe I should show you properly. I might try on something different, but it's just a nice material. I like the zip. I thought it would be great if I'm like going out for a walk and it's not like cold, I could just shove this on with a t-shirt. I just really liked it. It's kind of like a jacket cardigan hybrid. This was four pounds. What a bargain. This is the next thing I got. This is a jumper dress. Uh, this was from TK Maxx. Um, I think going to clearance shops is pretty much as good as going secondhand shopping. Maybe some of you disagree, but from my point of view, you're going to a clearance shop where they are buying stuff that would otherwise be sent to landfill that, you know, companies have run out of, I don't know, it's old season stuff. So you may as well get it from a clearance shop. Not only is it affordable, but I think it's pretty sustainable and I think it's something maybe people don't talk about as much within sustainability going to clearance shops like TK Maxx because some of the stuff there is like seasons old and it's putting stuff to use rather than you know brands like I don't know where this is from but I got some things from Zara that um would have otherwise probably just not sold so yeah this is a jumper dress high neck I did wear this in my last vlog my vlog with Alex where we went to St Ives it's really comfortable I like the sleeves they're like bat wing sleeves and it's like a dress. I think you're too high now. Let me see if I can move you. Yeah, it's like a nice little dress. I would wear it with leggings and it's just nice and cozy and comfy. This is another jumper dress. This one is from Zara. It is so soft. Well, it's not actually from Zara, it's from TK Maxx. Um, it was 12 99 It is the softest thing on this planet and I like the fact that it's a jumper dress but I could wear this as a jumper I could by all means just tuck this in and sort of ruch it up a bit and it would pass off as a jumper but I like jumper dresses because you can wear them with leggings so it kind of goes down to here and I really like this color I think cool toned greys like this suit me because I'm pale and I've got dark hair so I'm trying to wear more of them because I actually do think they look good and oh my god it's so comfy so this is another jumper you can tell i was after jumpers i just 
I really wanted some new jumpers for the winter because last winter or recently I just found myself wearing the same ones over and over and I'd run out because they'd go in the wash and a lot of them are like comfy at home jumpers which obviously work for lockdown but I just wanted to feel nicer and I just love turtlenecks so I got this kind of baggy cream really soft again turtleneck this was from a charity shop I think it was probably around a fiver um, I don't know which charity shop it was the first one we went in but I can't remember which one it was maybe maybe the air ambulance one I can't remember and then this is a dungaree set or dungarees from Finisterre Finisterre are a Cornish brand and I love their stuff they are quite pricey but they are super sustainable it's a local company and I just love the style of their clothes they're very like sportswear activewear based so everything's very comfortable and practical and honestly since buying these I haven't taken them off they are so comfortable because they're like a stretchy denim I love this olive color like I didn't really have anything green in my wardrobe before buying this and that jumper and I've realized how much I love these colors on me like I'm looking at the thing and I think that green I'm forgetting because I got hazel eyes this makes them look more green and I kind of haven't realized that so they are like full length dungarees I think I wore these in a video in a cooking video recently and they're super comfortable this is the length I know it's super annoying when people don't show you the full length but I don't know how to do that unless I show you in the mirror this is the next jumper it looks very plain and simple from this angle I might even wear it off the shoulder with like a different bra I've got a few kind of lace bralettes and I kind of like that shape so the cool thing is the back so it's got these bows um, and I would wear this probably with um, a lace bralette and wear it off the shoulder maybe with some high-waisted jeans and I just think it's really really cute or I do have also I'll show you what I might wear it with so this is a really gorgeous skirt from Linen Fox. I will show you further right in a second. Um, I've got it in this lovely pink colour and I want to buy this in black for the winter but I have spent so much money on Linen Fox that it's not even funny. Because I have gained weight and I talk about this in every video that I mention clothing, I just bought some of their stuff and I fell in love because it was the first clothing in so long that made me feel comfortable because it's um, designed to be baggy and comfy and it just made me feel secure and I was just like Do you know what if this brand works for me and they're a sustainable ethical company I'm just gonna buy their stuff and linen as well is a really good material um, and I just got so many bits from them but Alex is gonna kill me if I buy anything else but yeah, this is the, the skirt. Let me see if I can show you the bottom of it. Um, I'll show you in the mirror in a second. But I just thought it could look very, very cute um, with this on the back. This is a very good, like, I feel like a very good, like, transitional. Is that what they say? <laughs> transitional, like, good for the spring or good for the autumn when it's, like, not that cold yet. But also it's still kind of summery or it's kind of going into summer. It's kind of a good one for that. And, um, yeah. I just love this also I feel like this jumper would look great if you were to be wearing like um comfy trousers at home and just put this on to feel a bit more like I'm really comfortable right now but I kind of look really cute with my bows you could also wear it the other way around like let me just see if that would work so if I was to put on a like a uh, beige or white camisole you could totally wear this this way around I'm obviously not going to show you because my boobs are like hanging out but um you could totally wear it this way as well if you had a cute little bralette underneath there. Um, yeah, how much was this? This was £20. Another jumper, are you even surprised? So this is a lovely pink jumper. Just look at the colour. This is a Madeline Olivia colour. This is such a cute colour. Would I wear pink and pink? Oh, I said to you I'd show you it in the mirror. Let me show you the skirt in the mirror because I did say I would. So this is the skirt in the mirror. If you haven't heard about Linen Fox, then you have not been watching my channel <laughs> um, or following me on Instagram because it's all I wear at the minute. But this is the skirt, super comfy, it's got nice big pockets. 
I actually kind of love this, like pink on pink, why the hell not? But this jumper, the reason I got this is because if any of you have been following me for a while, you know that I have a pink jumper that I wear a lot. I wanted a shorter version because that one is really long. It's also on its like last legs. So this is like new. It looks a bit better quality to me. I like the shape of it. I like that it's boxy. You know what, it was from a charity shop. And I'm just trying to feel confident in my own skin and clothing really does help me with that. I'm quite a visual person so it does make me feel good if I have nice clothes to put on in the morning and it kind of gives me a boost of confidence that I don't necessarily have at the minute and I'm trying to work on. So yeah, love this. It was from another charity shop. I think this was actually from a separate charity shop trip. This was from Falmouth, I think. Yes, it was in Falmouth that I got this and I adore it. And then this cardigan was another one that I got, I think at the same time I got that pink one. It's just a navy secondhand wool cardigan with these lovely gold buttons. I actually love buying secondhand wool because I think it's really sustainable because it's a natural material so it's not releasing plastic every time you wash it. And I've got my organic basics white basic t-shirt underneath. And I just thought it was a really good basic for, you know, if you want to have a t-shirt, this, some jeans or some you know, trousers, it's just very comfortable and I just didn't have a navy cardigan. I have two cardigans, I've got a cream one, a grey one, I just thought it'd be nice to have a navy one because a lot of my wardrobe is navy and again, I think that I'm trying to buy more clothes that suit my colouring and I think that this colour suits me, so yeah. And finally, I did show this in a video recently again, the video about Roxy, but I got some bits from Finisterre when I got that, um, those dungarees because I didn't own these things and I wanted to invest. So first thing was this hat. It is pink, it is cute, and I often go on walks with Roxy and my ears get cold. So I wanted a beanie and I just thought I could not get a pink beanie. Like how cute is that? Again, I think it just suits my hair color. So love it, love it. I literally have worn it every single day since I bought it. And then this is the big one. So it's a very expensive coat. I actually don't think that it's on sale anymore or it's only on sale in a khaki color. It's not on sale in gray anymore. But before I bought this, I didn't own a waterproof jacket that was warm. Um, we have one waterproof jacket that we share and it was one that we found in Alex's bedroom, his old bedroom. And I think it's one from when he was a teenager. So we would share that and if it was raining, but if it was cold, um, I had nothing. I have a few coats that are like secondhand ones. I have one Jaeger coat that I got from a charity shop like a decade ago. And it's like a waterproof coat, but you know the sort of waterproof coats that the rain drips into the pockets and onto your legs. It's not really waterproof. It kind of soaks in. And I bought a lovely warm coat last year, but the same problem, it's, it's not waterproof. It's more of a, a big puffer jacket. So I wanted a practical coat that could last me forever as long as it lasts you know a decade i've got another coat my jaeger coat that i bought like a decade ago or got gifted to me by my parents a decade ago and it was expensive but it has lasted so i was looking for an all-rounder and that's why i actually bought the other stuff from finisterre this is what i was looking for it's got this lovely fluffy hood with the sort of faux shirling it's got the inside that is insulated and it's this lovely yellow color, which I kind of think is a bit fun. And Finisterre are like known for their puffer jackets and their insulation because it's just really good quality. And I'm someone who gets so, so cold and I am often boiling in this coat. It's probably too early to wear it because it's autumn. Often on walks though, I put this on and I have to like wear it like this because I'm getting hot. But that's a good sign that in the winter, like I'm going to be so so warm because last winter i was freezing and yeah i'm so so happy like i said i did get a warm cozy coat but it's not waterproof so this is perfect when it's raining and it's got nice big pocket here these pockets are like lined and super silky soft same on this side and i use all these pockets on a walk that's another thing i need so i've got roxy's lead in one of them and then i'll have her dog treats and then i'll have poo bags and then i'll have my phone <laughs> so i got it in a bigger size so that I can fit lots underneath it. Um, and there's also like a drawstring, so you can kind of see on the back that there's a bit of a drawstringy effect and you can tighten it so it has like a waist. 
And another good thing about this is that Alex and I can share it because they sell this in the men's section and the only difference is the drawstring, which if you undo it, it doesn't notice. So two for the price of one and he's worn this many, many times to walk Roxy. So yeah. Oh, another cool thing. I feel like I'm a bit of a salesperson here, but I just think it's bloody cool coat. It's got like little um, sweatshirt sleeves here to keep the warmth in. So I'm, you know, chuffed like with this. I know it's an expensive coat. And there are definitely other coats out there that you could grab, but if you are in the market for a nice, good quality, insulated, warm raincoat, then check Finister out. I think they have it in the khaki. Um, but yeah, I'm out of breath. That's a lot of stuff. You know, this video is probably very long. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed seeing all the bits that I bought recently. Yeah, I've got, just got loads of jumpers and hopefully it's gonna keep me warm and everything through the through the winter and maybe it's inspired some of you to secondhand shop i know we can't go to the shops at the minute so check out places like depop and vestiaire collective and you know sustainable brands like finister linen fox because and organic basics because it's you know there's an abundance of stuff out there now it's not even difficult like when i first started caring about secondhand and sustainable fashion it was really difficult for me to figure out where to buy from it's not even difficult anymore. There's so many places to get stuff. And um, if you save your money, then you can get some really good quality things and hopefully things that last. But if not, Depop. Depop is the place to go. Anyway, I probably am gonna end this video because it's the middle of the afternoon. It's gonna get dark soon. And I feel like this video is already quite long. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you in my next one. I'm trying to vlog every week. So maybe the next one will be another get healthy with me because it'll be like a week after I've started my new routine. Let's see how long it lasts. Every time I'm filming these videos, I'm like, I've got a new routine, but I'm thriving. You can tell that I'm like energetic because of how quickly I'm speaking. And I feel like so many of you guys notice my energy because I'm the sort of person that when I'm feeling down, my energy is so like, Ugh. and when I'm feeling good, I'm like hyper. So yeah i'm feeling happy i hope you are feeling happy too and i hope my happiness is not annoying to you because this is a shit time we're in a pandemic but anyway i've talked <laughs> for england so yeah i'll leave links to anything that i can down below see you all later bye bye now i have to clean up this mess <laughs>